As a new resident on the south side of Chicago, I think it's going to be critical to learn by listening. Through that listening, I will be able to learn what we can do together to make an important impact on the communities in the south side of Chicago. As I advanced in my training, I was struck that some types of trauma, like violence, disproportionately affected some people. And I was really struck that night after night of trauma call, the people that were disproportionately affected by trauma were young men of color. And I wanted to make an impact in that space. And that drew me to this idea that trauma can be addressed through a public health lens. That is, looking at the victims of trauma, not as individual patients that we often do in the context of the patient-doctor relationship, but also in the context of how are the social determinants of trauma as a disease. As a young trauma surgeon, I was really struck when I took care of one 17-year-old boy. I remember him yelling and screaming for his mother. He wanted his mother there to comfort him. Fortunately, the bullet went through his neck and lodged in his spine, but didn't injure any of the vital blood vessels or his airway or the spine itself. And I developed a bond with that young man, and I thought, you know, you did not die, you did not get paralyzed from this injury, and this is a chance to turn your life all around. So I confided to him that we can take the bullet out in another month or two, come back to clinic, and we will go from there. Unfortunately, in that interval of time, when he actually did return to clinic, he had been shot again. He'd been treated by one of my colleagues. I didn't know that he'd actually been rehospitalized. And I was fully expecting that he wanted to schedule the removal of the bullet. And in fact, what he was there for, as he unbuttoned his shirt, was to get the staples removed from his abdominal wound where he had been shot in the abdomen. And I, I felt so devastated because I was like, what I, how did I help him? I didn't, really felt, I didn't really feel that I made any difference. One of the important elements of those experiences is you realize that every time that you interact with a person who is a victim of intentional violence, you can make a difference in that person's life, not just in terms of the medical skills of suturing the blood vessel or repairing an injured bowel, but you can actually impact them in a positive way as a human being, relating to them as a person and trying to understand the journey that they've been on, and could you be part of changing the path forward?